Welcome back. We are your hurricane headquarters and over the weekend, well, the National Hurricane Center started issuing regular tropical outlooks, even though hurricane season doesn't begin till June 1st, but it's right around the corner. Grant. Yeah. Yeah. Why so, are so early. So, so here's why it's not because there's something out there, but it prepares us for if there were something to develop. In fact, right. this time last year, we were tracking a tropical storm. Tropical storm warnings were just issued for the North Carolina coast this time last year. The, the hurricane season still begins on June 1st, runs all the way through November 30th. But because it has been so active recently, the national hurricane season did start issuing those tropical outlooks, which are regularly up updated discussions, if you will, on Saturday on May 15th. Again, here's why they started doing this. They actually considered even pushing the season to May 15th. But you go back over the last six years, there has been a name storm before the official start of hurricane season including last year when we had tropical storm Arthur, which developed on May 16th. You go back over the last several decades, we've just seen an increase in those conditions. But the, the good news is that at least right now, no development is expected over the next five days and things are relatively calm. So that's the good news for us now as we head into the second half of May. So as yet another hurricane season begins, guys, we are we are gearing up for what could be another active season. I spoke with several experts in the research and climate field to discuss why what we're facing in 2021 is just a different hurricane season than what it used to be. Tropical Storm Arthur and Bertha showed up early in May of 2020 before the official June 1st start of hurricane season. From there, 28 more tropical storms or hurricanes developed, using up the list of names for the 2020 hurricane season and eight names from the Greek alphabet. There were 30 of these storms in total, 13 hurricanes, seven of which were major hurricanes. As we head into a new hurricane season, it's undeniable that our tropical landscape is changing starting with seeing these storms earlier. In the last six years, there's been a named storm before the start of hurricane season. In fact, in the last decade, 10 preseason storms have developed compared to just three in the previous decade. As a result, beginning this year, the National Hurricane Center started issuing their regular tropical outlooks on May 15th instead of June 1st. Hurricane seasons are also more active than they used to be. Over the last decade, an average season was said to have 12 named storms, six hurricanes, and three major hurricanes. The Atlantic Ocean moved into a more active period in 1995, which has now resulted in an increase in what we consider a normal normal season. As we enter a new decade, an average hurricane season is now considered to have 14 named storms, seven hurricanes, with the number of major hurricanes remaining at three. Tropical forecasters say 2021 has the potential to be even more active than that. Colorado State University predicts 17 named storms, eight hurricanes, with four of those becoming major hurricanes. Climate and extreme weather researchers remain hesitant to attribute the recent increase in tropical activity to humans. But we can say that due to the impacts of humans on climate change, the storms are becoming more intense and impacting us more. Sea levels around the world are rising, including right here in Tampa Bay. Now, computer forecast models help scientists run simulations for what that could mean for storm surge. You know, some places get more storm surge, other places got less. But one thing that was a fact, further inland. So it will create uh, increased flooding risk at the coast, no matter what happens, even if, even if the hurricanes don't change at all. But hurricanes themselves are changing. As the atmosphere and oceans warm and sea ice melts, water vapor in the atmosphere increases. An increase of sea surface temperatures of about one degree Celsius has been estimated to result in a 7% increase in the intensity of the rainfall in a hurricane. We're not necessarily seeing the strongest evidence for more storms, but we are seeing a trend to stronger. The thing we know very well is that in the warmer world, the most intense storms, the category fours and the category fives, will become more intense. We aren't just talking about more intense hurricanes, but storms that rapidly intensify right up to landfall, ultimately producing more and longer lasting damage to our Florida communities.